Uh, the white people really passed meaningful laws. It would not be necessary to pass any more laws. There are already enough laws on the law books to protect an American citizen. You only need uh, additional laws when you're dealing with someone who is not regarded as an American citizen. See, this shit right here is exactly why the Nation of Islam failed and is not for black people. Why do I say that? We don't need additional laws to be added to America's system. We need God's laws to reign supreme. There is no peace with the masters and the children of masters who have done nothing in their existence but orchestrated harm and death and violence against God's chosen people, blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. See, being Muslim or Christian have two things that are very similar. Neither one of them teach the Negro God, the God of the Latinos, the God of the Native American Indians, the God of black people. One serves wood, poles, and the other serves stone, poles. Hey, listen, there ain't nothing against Malcolm X, but just like Martin Luther King, worshiping, being Christian and worshiping Allah ain't done shit for blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We are still oppressed and have come no closer to our God while we serving other gods. Like in this school right here, we not fighting for civil rights, nor are we fighting for additional rights. We fighting for God's rights. That's a big difference. Now, while I got your attention, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, the Lord gave us a chance, blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, a chance to feel Israelite privilege. Don't that just sound lovely? For blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, then now, here's your invitation to the Lord's 54th annual Passover. See, this was a custom that was supposed to be kept from generation to generation in the households of blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Martin Luther King dropped it, Malcolm X dropped it, but commanding Jenny Johanna in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, we've been keeping that tradition and that custom since the 60s, since 1969. And this year, we back around with it again for the Lord's 54th annual Passover that's going to be held in Raleigh, North Carolina. Watch this clip. It's an invitation to blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians only. It's an invitation personally to you from the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge to come join us at this year's Passover. Shalom Israel. And when I mean Israel, I'm talking about the black, Hispanic, and native Indians. The Lord's 54th annual Passover is going down again this year, sundown, April 1st at 500 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Downtown Conventional Center. It's got enough room for all of us. The Lord's 54th annual Passover. Last year, brothers and sisters showed up from all over the world rocking ancient garments and glorious apparel in order to serve the Most High in Christ. Now, it's that time again. Commander General Johannes putting out the decree for all brothers and sisters to show up sundown, April 1st, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Join us at the Sheridan in Raleigh, the hotel right downtown. It's at 421 South Salisbury. The Passover is right up the block at the convention center. Literally within walking distance. Make sure you pull up. Make sure that you do your due diligence because rooms are going fast and they are limited this weekend. You understand? We have months in advance of preparation do not wait till the last minute to get your room the lord's 54th annual passover saturday april 1st in raleigh north carolina join us there it's about time